I know I'm repeating myself, but that's just not possible. But the High Priest hasn't been seen since then. How do you explain that? I heard some people from the capital say that he might have been attacked by demons. The Abbey's trying to cover it up, but the truth is getting out. The security at the palace is better than anywhere else. Demons breaking in? Inconceivable. But what if a whole horde assailed the castle? The exorcists guarding the palace are elite. The best of the best. Horde or not, they couldn't have gotten in. But what if they were some sort of giant demons? No matter how elite the guards may be, they'd have trouble against something like that. If giant demons appeared in the capital, there'd be an uproar. I understand your concerns, but please remain calm and trust us. Panic and confusion is just what the demons want. They'll use it to slip into this very town. Well, we know that, but still. It looks like rumors from the capital are spreading. The more chaos there is here, the easier it'll be for us to move around. Hello there. How can I help you today? We're looking for Salatoma flowers. Well now, that's an order I don't get every day. It's not for the Corsair's Scourge, by any chance. The very same. Some of our crew developed fever three days ago. I want to take care of it as quickly as possible. Understandable, but unfortunately, I'm out of stock right now. How can you be out of stock? The flower's in season, isn't it? It is, but not too long ago, a demon appeared in Warg Forest, where we harvested. And now the Abbey won't let anyone inside. They what? Why haven't they exterminated the demon? From what little I've heard, they've had trouble tracking the thing. A hundred people go in, maybe only one will actually come across the beast. If it's so rare, then what's the danger? Because nobody who's encountered it has come back alive. First the Corsair Scourge, then no medicine, the Abbey, and a mysterious demon. Never a dull moment with the Reaper's curse, eh? Uh. I could try to order some from other towns, but if you're already on day three, it might not make it in time. But if we go to the Warg Forest, the Solitoma will be in bloom, correct? Right, but the demon... We're going to the forest. You heard that lady. Oh, other exclamation point. Let's see what the hell goes about. Dad, I can't take it anymore. I can't deal with life in this village. There you go, with the whining again. Those two, they seem to be rather upset. Best stay out of it! They're going at it, hammer and thongs! The phrase is hammer and tongs. I'm not whining. It's been ten years, and the village is no better off than when we started. Every year it gets colder, and every year our harvest gets worse. And the risk of demon blight hasn't gone away. Your point? Compared to other regions, Westgand has fewer cases of demon blight. Other areas are suffering worse from the cold and the demons. I'd say we're better off here than anywhere else. You're saying we're lucky that all we have to worry about is cultivating this inhospitable land? Don't be so impatient. We'll see results. Westgand has incredible potential. If we keep working this land, eventually it will become a prosperous place. Maybe not now, but in a hundred years or a thousand, our descendants will have joy and plenty. That's enough for me. There you go again. Who cares about ancestors? I'm talking about... Good man, your words have moved me. As an exorcist, I promise to work my hardest to end the demon blight and help people like you find security. Oh, thank you for your kind words, young exorcist. Then I have a request. How about you start helping by marrying this fool son of mine? Oh, come on! Ever since his lover gave him the slip, he's been whining like this nonstop. I'm... Very sorry, but that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Well, this... <laughs> well, th that was a thing. Okay, uh, to be honest, I want not to uh, put a note here because I'm gonna play Jessia after this. And I'm curious how much is gonna be connected with this town. The Demon of Warg Forest? Yeah, I heard about it. It's been the talk of the town round here lately. My guess is it's some kind of invisible demon. Scary, right? An invisible demon? A bunch of exorcists got together to hunt the demon, but they couldn't find it. If it's not invisible, then maybe it's so fast they couldn't see it. 
or too small for them to notice. What kind of watch are they keeping on the forest now? Shouldn't you know? You're an exorcist too, right? Yes, but my duties take me from place to place, and I don't know the details of the demon hunts in this area. I see. I don't really know the details myself either, but I hear the exorcists are patrolling in shifts. Interesting. It sounds like they still might not have a good lead on what this demon is. Please hurry. Find that demon and get rid of it. We won't feel safe until it's gone. You have my word. We'll do everything we can. We're here to find Salitoma. Sorry, but we don't have time to go demon hunting. I know. Another battle tutorial. Said. What's the Reaper's curse Mogilu was talking about? Supposedly, Aizen's presence has the power to bring misfortune to the people around him. Is that some sort of special Moloch power or something? It's worse than mere misfortune. At Vortigern, there was a sudden mass outbreak of demon blight, and many of his fellow crew died on his watch. I find that a little hard to believe, honestly. The Reaper's curse is all too real! It was the Reaper's curse that tore me from you and got me captured by Miss Mogilu! Oh, is... is that so? I missed you so much! The hazy, halcyon days when I would blow on your cheeks to make your tears dry up! Hey, that's not... It must be destiny that we've been reunited! How I wish I could return to your side once more! Do what you want, I don't care. Really? I won't stop you. Maybe she wants a Moloch who freely divulges a young girl's secrets. I'm fine, thank you very much. I've already got Lofi set to look after as it is. Oh, no fair! Is he the one who blows on your tears now when you cry? He most certainly does not. And as of right now, you're a stranger to me. Look at that face! Just so we're clear, Lafayette will do no blowing on any cheeks. Of course not! Uh, I mean, not that it ever happened in the first place anyway. Uh, just forget it! <sighs> Yet another victim of the Reaper's curse! <sighs> the face of Velvet did! <laughs> Man, I have to stop recording and save that as a picture. Actually, let me see. We're gonna be back in a second. <laughs> what the? What is that? Why are you one of those? I better chop in. Man. Eleanor, are you feeling all right? Yes, for now at least. I'm glad for that. But please remember. The Reaper's curse is no joke. Is Isen's curse even real? I'm having trouble believing in it. You never know. 
Talk like that might give you a stomach ache, or a blister, or a bug might fly into your mouth. A bug? Miss Muggy Lou, please stop making up things just to scare Madame Eleanor. Like when you said that four Navy warships tried to detain the Von Eltia and disappeared without a trace. Or that Eisen made a stopover on an island and the men there caught Demon Blight. Or that a man bumped into his shoulder and started laughing and died from suffocation. Please stop. That's even more frightening. That's a pack of lies. It was seven warships. Everyone on the island, not just men, caught Demon Blight. And the guy who bumped into me died from hiccups. <laughs> Hold me. But as far as the Corsair's scourge goes, you don't need to worry. Just drink the Solitoma juice and you'll be fine. Assuming they're in bloom. Yeah, there is that. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. You can say that again. Wait, is that the butterfly? Oh, I think that's is kind of the boss. Hmm. Do I really want to fight it? Hey, maybe pause game. What is this? This is a dual layered barrier. It's the Abbey's new invention. So it's two barriers working in tandem then. That sure sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble just to stop people from coming in. It really does. Reaper's curse of yours is consistent, if nothing else. The curse even affects coin flips? Seems that way. A Moloch's powers affect physical objects and can, at times, even synchronize with their wavelengths. And in your case, it's that coin? Yeah. That's why it always comes up tails. You must forgive my skepticism. Whether you choose to believe it or not is really up to you. It might be worth noting that coin is also Aizen's vessel. So is that wavelength business the reason why Lafayette always has that compass around him? That's part of it, but in another sense, it's a kind of proof of his manhood. Proof of his manhood? Must polish you so you don't rust. <laughs> oh, look at him! How happy it is. That doesn't make any sense. For a Praetor, you really don't know that much about the world, do you? Ugh. The Reaper's Curse. The Abbey needs to know about this. I'll have to investigate further. A coin that always comes up tails. Can a Moloch's influence extend so far? I see you're a woman of deep skepticism. I know it's hard to believe. But Aizen's coin really does only come up tails. Wait a minute. Are you using some sort of trick on it, Mogilu? Oh, your gaze falls on me then? Well, I am a woman of deep skepticism. And one who holds grudges too, apparently. But no, I don't have anything to do with it. In fact, I tried a little spell to make it come up heads and it wouldn't take hold. The coin's not gimmicked. There's no trick. See for yourself if you like. <gasps> This is... the Demon Lord Daus. Good eye. It's from Carl. It's from Carlin! I've never seen an authentic specimen! It's incredibly ancient, and yet it looks freshly minted. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Gold is normally soft, but they found a way to heart- I know! They cover the surface of a softer metal with a heat reactor-shaped memory alloy! That's what makes it hard to scratch. Uh, right. 
It's a technique no one alive can duplicate, and it makes any trickery impossible. I might just have to believe in this curse of yours after all. I thought you said they had made the surface itself harder, not covered it with something else. I think you're mistaken. No, I swear you said... Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Shape memory alloy. Hmm. That's how they did it. So what does this Solitoma flower look like exactly? In a word, ugly. The flower itself is purple with leaves and stem of maroon. An ugly flower. All right, I'll keep an eye out. By the way, do you know what Solitoma means in the language of flowers? Was it deceitful coexistence? What's with that? Even its symbolism is awful. Deceitful coexistence. <laughs> The perfect flower for us. Ugh. What's wrong, Luffy said? Maggie Lou is right, isn't she? Could be. Eleanor is from the Abbey. I'm not sure that someone like that would ever genuinely want to make friends with us. That's what I thought. But it's not all quarrels between us. There's commonalities, I guess you could call it. We share common ground. Deceitful coexistence doesn't trouble me at all. I'll always be here for you, Madam Eleanor. You and I shared an eternal vow that binds us together. All I did was make a pact to tether you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk about it in a way that could create the wrong impression. <laughs> Madam Eleanor, you're so cold. Dry your eyes, Bianfu. You still have me, don't you? Oh, Miss Mogilu, you're the only one for me, honest! Good, good. Now think hard on my kindness and do as you're told. Yes, ma'am! I'll just have to hang in there until I find a new love. Lafisat, think about deceitful coexistence this way. Demon, exorcist, Moloch, pirate, witch. We're never going to be a single cohesive unit. But each of us understands where the others are coming from in a way that's very real. So it's not really a deception? Yeah, not really. I think selfish coexistence might make the better fit. <laughs> Maybe so. <sighs> still need a lot of training. Is training hard? It's necessary, so no, I don't think so. <laughs> Classic honor roll student. Those purple leaves belong to a Salatoma. Be on the lookout for the ugly flowers. Ugly purple flowers. Got it. I guess we kind of have a puzzle to solve. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Are you hurt? Can you stand? Yeah. You there! What do you think you're doing here? We could ask the same of you. <laughs> Shut up!
Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were demon hunting. Ah! Are you making that move? No, it just did it by itself. He's in sync with his compass, just like Aizen and this coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. It stopped, but something still feels wrong. Like what? It kind of feels like when we got sealed inside that Earth Pulse. So a force similar to Inominat's power? I'm starting to think this may be no ordinary demon we're dealing with here. <laughs> 